My field of experience is geotechnical engineering uh, with a specialization in dam engineering, uh, not just in the construction of new dams, but in the rehabilitation of existing dams. Oh, I've lost count of how many dams I've worked on over the years, but at any one time, including this dam here, probably in the region of 40 or 50 active dams. Well, I've been invited to participate in the team for a couple of days. Uh, we have a couple of issues which are highly specialized, and as is typical on these projects, uh, the owner often calls for specialist expertise to help on specific problems. Uh, all the teams here, all the four major team members on this project are working extremely hard and very long hours, and it's a privilege to be here. It's a very high dam. It's a very beautiful site. The terrain is gorgeous. It's a perfect place for a dam of this type. My first view of it was coming in on the helicopter on Tuesday, and it really was quite breathtaking. It's a handsome dam, but most impressive are the works, especially on the right abutment. Uh, the excavation of the rock and the concrete structures are spectacular. Is that any project like this is a joint venture between the owner, the engineer, the construction manager, and the contractor. And unless and until all these bodies work together, then things will not go so well. But my perception is on this project that everyone is working together extremely well and very efficiently. Yes, uh, I've been extremely impressed with the experience and the expertise of all four parts of this venture. Uh, the level of personal knowledge and skill is outstanding. There is a terrific blend of older, experienced dam engineers who have worked on projects throughout the world and many, many young people who are extremely skilled in computing and analytical methods. There also seems to be a very strong level of mentoring between the senior people and the junior people. And this is a very healthy, very healthy state of affairs. One always tries to do one's best. On any project, especially a major project of this type, there will always be little hiccups, little problems on the way. But the mark of any organization is not to avoid problems, it's how to solve them. And sure, there are problems that have arisen in the course of constructing this dam. But I think, again, the mark of the success of this project has been the ability of all the team members to solve the problems as they arise. So I, th I think that's a given. Uh, there is simply no way back. We have got to a point that's perhaps 85 or 90 percent complete. Uh, and therefore, there is no valid technical or commercial or strategic reason not to continue with this project. Uh, there are issues that still have to be resolved, but that's absolutely typical on a major and sophisticated project of this nature. Uh, and I, I think, having discussed it with my colleagues, there seems to be different problems arise each day uh, which have to be solved. But that's the nature of the business. It's not a crisis, it's just a problem. At the moment, the focus is on managing the elevation of the lake, uh, which should now be eased by various methods, including the fact that it's coming into the dry season. Uh, but also we have to do some technical uh, innovations and interventions to make sure that the dam is as watertight as can possibly be at the upper elevations. My part is a very small part in this overall game. And there are many people who have given a lot of their careers to this project and who at the end of the day will probably go unrecognized but they will know in their hearts that they've done a wonderful job on this project.